Good evening and welcome once again to our evening office of Vespers. The end of a day, a very hot and sticky day, that the <coughs> thunderstorm doesn't seem to have cleared much, but uh, according to the forecast, we're in for a lot more of thundery and wet weather in the next couple of days. It could do with a little cooling down. It's uh, quite hot in this cassock, and the church is warmer inside than it is out this evening. So some hope for the flowers. Anyway, we come towards the end of the middle of the week, the Wednesday. And uh, this evening, after Vespers, I will be celebrating one decade of the Rosary. And being Wednesday, it is the Glorious Mysteries. And I'm taking the first Glorious Mystery, which is the Resurrection. This is the single pivotal point of our Christian faith. Without the Incarnation, we couldn't have had that. But an incarnation could have happened, but that wasn't humanity's salvation. It was a forerunner. But the actual act of death and resurrection, Christ paying with his blood for the sins of the world, that's the point that freed us from sin and allows us to float up to heaven, if you like. But we need to keep our feet on the ground in the meantime and work hard at following Christ's commandments. There's people in need all round of us and we need to look to those and to care for them in whatever way we can. Our span on this earth, uh, we do not know how long it's going to be. It could be uh, lots and lots of years, it could be few years. And who knows how much time we've got left now from now. Um, I've had quite a good span already, but... Uh, as the old saying is, only the good die young, so I should live for a long time. But it doesn't really matter how long we live, as long as we, what we do when we're alive is the best we can possibly do. That's the way we may get to heaven. We can't earn our way there. We go there through grace alone, God's good grace. But we can throw himself on his mercy. And with all the angels and saints and our blessed Lord's mother to pray for us, to through our Son, to our Lord Jesus Christ, through the Heavenly Father, the King of all creation, we have got good friends on our side. So this evening, once again, we will commence with the Angelus. We will have the Vespers from the Breviary. And this evening, for those who use the Universalis, it's actually the same hymn, so that's good. It's the same one as in the Breviary. And at the end of the intercessions in the bravery, we will add our own intercessions, all those people who have asked us for prayers. And prayer is a very powerful tool. It can almost move mountains. I've never seen a mountain move, but I've seen some wondrous things. People who are next to death's door coming back and being quite healthy afterwards. So prayer, never give up on prayer. Prayer makes us closer to God and it helps other people as well. So in a prayerful way, we start our evening prayer with the Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy will. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his cross and passion be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord, 
Amen. O oh God, come to our aid. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Christ be near at either hand, Christ behind before me stand, Christ with me where'er I go, Christ around above below. Christ be in my heart and mind, Christ within my soul enshrined, Christ control my wayward heart, Christ abide and ne'er depart. Christ my life and only way, Christ my lantern night and day, Christ be my unchanging friend, guide and shepherd to the end. Those who were sowing in tears will sing when they reap. When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter. On our lips there were songs. The heathens themselves said, What marvels the Lord worked for them! What marvels the Lord worked for us! Indeed, we were glad. Deliver us, O Lord, from our bondage as streams in dry land. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. They go out, they go out full of tears, carrying seed for the sowing. They come back, they come back full of song, carrying their sheaves. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Those who were sowing in tears will sing when they reap. The Lord will build a house for us. He will watch over our city. If the Lord does not build the house, in vain do its builders labour. If the Lord does not watch over the city, in vain does the watchman keep vigil. In vain is your earlier rising, your going later to rest. You who toil for the bread you eat, when he pours gifts on his beloved while they slumber. Truly, sons are a gift from the Lord, a blessing, the fruit of the womb. Indeed, the sons of youth are like arrows in the hand of a warrior. Oh, the happiness of the man who has filled his quiver with these arrows. He will have no cause for shame when he disputes with his foes in the gateways. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord will build a house for us. He will watch over our city. He is the firstborn of all creation. He is supreme over all creatures. Let us give thanks to the Father who has qualified us to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. He has delivered us from the dominion of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. All things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning 
the firstborn from the dead, that in everything he might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, making peace by the blood of his cross. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. He is the firstborn of all creation. He is supreme over all creatures. A reading from the letter to the Ephesians. To him who is able to do so much more than we can ever ask for or even think of by means of the power working in us, to God be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus for all time, forever and ever. Amen. Redeem me, Lord, and show me your mercy, we repeat. Redeem me, Lord, and show me your mercy. Do not cast me away with sinners. Redeem me, Lord, and show me your mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Redeem me, Lord, and show me your mercy. The Almighty has done great things for me. Holy is his name. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud-hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich empty away. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever. Amen. The Almighty has done great things for me. Holy is his name. I may have faith strong enough to move mountains, but if I have no love, I am nothing. With this in mind, we pray, Lord, grant us your love. Lord, grant us your love. Lord, sustain us as we build and grow towards you. Increase our faith as we work. Lord, grant us your love. We are assailed by doubts and weighed down by uncertainties. Release our hearts to journey towards you with hope. Lord, grant us your love. Love keeps no score of wrong and does not gloat over evil. Help us to delight in the truth and rejoice in your gifts to others. Lord, grant us your love. Confirm the pilgrim church in the faith of the apostles. Help us to encourage each other, sharing our gifts. 
Lord, grant us your love. Bring those who have died in your peace to that knowledge which fulfills faith and answers hope. Grant them the fullness of your love. Lord, grant us your love. Now we offer the prayers on behalf of those who have communicated them to us via our parish office. And today we give thanks with Ray Hampton who celebrates 40 years of being a Catholic today. And thanks is given to God for all the blessings that has brought. We pray for the men and women in Coldingly and Send prisons, which we serve, and also for all who work for God's blessing and protection. We pray for Charmeline Fernando's little grandson, Sasha Fernando, who is six today. And we also remember his mum, Nadia, who celebrated her birthday last Saturday on the 8th of August. We pray for those who are sick in mind or body. For Crystal Wagner Douglas, suffering from a terrible disease called depression. For David Silk, who suffered a stroke. And we also keep in mind his wife, Debbie, in our prayers. For Anne, who is suffering from a stroke and is recovering in hospital. We pray for her health. We pray for all those who are sick. Rosalie McCarthy, Glyn Owen, Lorraine, Liam, Martin, Alfonso, Maureen, Laura Walker, Tony Van Hoysmith, Peter Orchard, Peter Lloyd Roberts, Anna Cummings and her twins, Jean Phillips, Maggie Dunstan, Julie Evans, Tony, Tony, Margaret, Swift. Nicola Bald, Ed Alperto. Judy Netto. Teresa Hayes. Carol Pickett. Judith. Rod. Patricia Larkin, Pat Blake, Tony Walworth, Joe Sprague, Ian Blakely, Valerie Howard, Nick Belak, and Jean Meller. For those who have died recently or whose anniversaries occur at this time, we pray for the repose of the soul of Simon Rosario, remembering his wife and family at this time. For Kathleen Lindsay Storing, on the anniversary of her death. We pray for the soul of Anita Branson, whose funeral and burial was held today. <coughs> And we continue to pray for the repose of the souls of Jane Gilbert, Trevor Thomas, Peter Brasher, Andrew Martin, Jim Stafford, Father John Healy. And we remember the families and friends of all those who are grieving at this moment. 
May the Lord come to them and help them in their sorrow. Let us now join together in that prayer that our Saviour Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Let your people's cry come into your loving presence, Lord. Forgive them their sins, so that by your grace they may be devoted to your service and rest secure under your protecting hand. We make our prayer through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We now continue with the decade, one decade of the Rosary from the Glorious Mysteries, the Resurrection. We give thanks to God for that resurrection because without the resurrection we would have no faith. That single point in history was a turning point. Overcoming death, finally and eternally, while we still have it with us on earth, the final victory is the Lord's. And we think of Our Lady Mary having to go through watching her son die on a cross but what must have filled her heart when she actually saw her son again come back to life? And so we meditate on that and that special relationship they had, mother and son, son and mother. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now 
and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of your mercy. Amen. And so we end with the Evening Anthem to Our Lady. Salve Regina, Mata Misericordiae, Vita Dolcedo, et spes nostra salve. A te clamamos, exules filie ever, a te suspiramos, Gementes et flentes, in hac lacrimarum vale. Ea ego, advocata nostra, illos tuos misericordes oculos, ad nos converte. Et Jesum, benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis post hoc exilium ostende. O clemens, o pia, o dulcis, Virgo Maria. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ.